Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at corrective blend shapes for full body morphs. Those are the ones that if you have your outfit and it's saved and it looks great on the base figure, what happens if you use a different character and all of a sudden you figure out, hey, there's distortions. How do we fix them? And more importantly, how do we save them so that they come baked in with our outfit? I'm using Lioness's Keaton character here. She's a bit of a rotund full body figure and she will cause some distortions because we didn't tell that studio that we want to support this particular character. So I've applied her, dialed her out, and if I go and dial Keaton in, that you can see that most of the outfit works just fine, but there's a few distortions here on the shirt that I'd like to correct. So one thing happens under the arms here, and the other one is these particular lines under the breast. So this is something that we can easily correct. We've looked at how to do this in the previous episodes. In fact, we're through diff with three different tools. Let's just use ZBrush because that's really easy to make that happen. Do you remember how we did that? Let's select the shirt and have a look on the parameters tab under currently used and we'll see these two sliders here that are auto dialed in to our outfit now. Dastudio didn't have these before so it goes and creates these from scratch for us. We've got the Keaton body and we've got the Keaton head. The head is probably not something we need to be concerned about, so I'm gonna go and put this back to 100, but the LY Keaton body 001, that is the thing that causes us these distortions here. So I'm gonna go and copy the name of that out under parameter settings, and I'm gonna use the name here, copy, hit cancel, then I'm gonna select my Genesis figure. I'm gonna go and send this over to ZBrush for a quick fix. All we'll do here is smooth this. Oops, I should have uh, put symmetry on, make this a bit smaller, make the intensity a little bit less. Uh, just something, just something like that. You know, imagine this is my fix now. Perfect. This is this is really all we need it. Uh, maybe on the maybe on the back too. There, perfect. That's that's all we're gonna do. And now we're gonna go and send her back. And this is our super exciting fix here. And in Das Studio, another window will pop up create a morph, update the base geometry. All we need to do is make sure we paste in that morph name that we've copied out and make sure we override the existing one. And then we go and hit accept, look at the distortion here. It is magically corrected because that studio now knows what to do when Keaton is dialed in and our outfit is applied. So that's perfect. Um, correction is made, but remember we've made our own product here. This morph we've just created, we haven't saved yet. So we need to save that with our product so that it will work when other people dial in Keaton and you know the other 400 figures that you probably wanna support. So in order to do that, we go over here with our shirt selected because that's where the morph is inside. So make sure that you select that first, head over to file. Then we go and save as support asset. And here is where it becomes a little bit interesting. Up until March 2024, you will find something called Morph Asset. And this is the option that you should choose if it is in fact available for you in DAS Studio. If you're using a newer version that came out past March 2024, then you need to select Modify Assets. So Morphs has been, or is in the process as I'm recording this video of being renamed into Modifiers, I believe. We have sketchy information on this topic. So in my case, it's Modify Assets. If you don't have that, use Morph Assets. And then this window will pop up again, in which I need to, of course, select my asset directory so that we know we're going to save it into the correct directory. In my case, that is the directory that I've mapped here. But in case yours isn't selected to the correct one, make sure it is. Then your vendor name is, of course, your vendor name and your product name needs to be that product name. So in my case, that's my outfit or whatever you've named your product. And then in here, I need to go into properties and figure out where that morph was actually stored. So I wasn't exactly paying attention. I should have done that. Let me go cancel out of this and then we're gonna have a look together. So on the parameters tab under currently used, I know it's in here and that's an easy way to find it. You can also drill down into here. It's probably somewhere under actor and then under full body, I would imagine, and then perhaps feminine, but I'm gonna have a look into here rather than hunting. You can just go and click on that little gear icon here, parameter settings, and here's where the path is. So actor, full body, people, feminine. I was kind of right there. So let's go and remember that and do this again. File, save as, support asset, modify asset in my case, or morph asset if you don't have it. So this is the correct directory. This is the correct vendor name and the product is my outfit. 
So then I can go and go into actor, full body, people, feminine, and there is L.Y. Keaton. So select the morph that you've actually overwritten. Don't just select everything. You don't want to do that unless you have a specific reason to do that. So this dialogue is comfortable enough that if you've made 20 corrections for 20 characters, for example, then you can go and select all of those and all of these will be saved in one fair swoop. Well, I've only made one, so I'm just going to go and select this, hit accept, and that will save out my morph. Just to tell you, just to show you where that is, in case you need to remove it, that is in our directory here. And just to go from the top structure, that's also in the data folder. It's in your vendor name, it's in your product name, and it's in your actual shirt geometry. And then we have morphs, UV sets, and this is the geometry. So we go into morphs, and once again, your vendor name, and then we have your outfit. Those are all the corrections that come with your outfit, like the, the for the bending. And then you have base and my outfit. So Base is where all these adjustment morphs are that the transfer utility brought in. But here under my outfit, this is where we find one dial. And that is in fact the one that we've just saved out with the exact same name. And as soon as Dash Studio finds that, it will also be loaded in. So if you ever have something that's spurious or you want to delete that, you can just go and remove that. And then this adjustment that I've just saved out is no longer there in my outfit. That is all I have on the correction mobs. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.